Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a stunning 52 degree Saturday, the 6th of March. Or is it the 5th? Yeah, I think it's the 5th today. Ah, uh, dang. Yep, definitely the 5th. But, uh, 52 is not crazy warm, but it's nice enough to go for a ride. Ah, uh, dang. Sasha. Mama looks like she's ready to go. Let me turn my scene on. Uh, dang. Oh, she's already connected. There's the hug. Dang, woman, that was fast. <laughs> All right. You ready to go for a rip? I am. All right. Let's roll the heck on out of here. Watch all the mud holes out here, Mama. Yeah, there is some mud holes. Yes. Ground is still saturated. Yep. But the sun's out. Oh, seen a rabbit run across the road. Oh, it's a no bun buns. Yeah. You know what the bad thing is about the start of this ride here, Mama? What? Is uh, we did top off on the last ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we got to fill them both up with gas. And uh, so, how much, which is normally five bucks, four ninety nine nine. I wonder how much non ethanol super is going to cost. Yeah, I'm afraid of that one. This will probably be the most expensive fuel fill in a motorcycle I've ever done. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, times two. So uh, we were concerned about how much it was going to cost to fill these things up. This is flirty. $27.25. cents. 5.59.9. $5.60 a gallon for that. That's messed up. <laughs> Ethanol free super. Holy Ouch, holy. mama. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go enjoy the day and not worry about the gas. Yeah, it's good thing we can go a long ways. Yeah, no kidding. Holy moly. Tell me. Full. Yeah, that's that's pretty Way high. too full. Considering everything's been uh, reducing here lately. Yeah, look at the docks, they're level. Yeah. Instead of pointing way down. Or if they got that other one attached. And if they didn't, where is it at now? It's floating through. Oh, it's attached. Think of the water they had to wade through to get on it. Yep. They must have attached it better. She stayed on there that time. Look how murky the water is. You just never see it like that. That's crazy. That cute little train crossing. Plus I like looking at that old bulldozer sitting up there. Well, there's no lights on all the way down there either. Must be a quiet train day today, Mama. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing because we've been almost every day going back and forth to work. They're just, they're literally stacked up. Some like Oops. one after the other behind each other. I mean, stacked up like cars at a traffic light. Yeah. Trying to get through. <laughs> then the weekend comes and they're all gone. Yeah. Traffic is clear. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to just go wide or something. I, I mess I mess with this because I challenge myself to stay on the... Oh, I'm trying to find the least amount of water. A little patch of concrete. Yeah. <laughs> it's about six to eight inches deep on the other side. Ain't nothing going to happen. It'll just startle the heck out of you. The front and back wheel goes... <laughs> yeah, that would be scary. Sketchy, sketchy. Yeah. You want to stop for a moment? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right. Good Lord, is that highway loud. Ain't nothing like a nice sunny day on the old hogs. <laughs> There's the old toodle heading for the Cowlitz is going across. Callitz is basically moving the same direction as the freeway right there. And this is a toodle dumping in. This was not a place you wanted to be on uh, May 18th, 1980, that's for sure. There's some scary videos. 
of all this. All the forest and everything that was out here just went. Oof. It was crazy. Crazy times. They had the freeway even shut down. It was so bad. Pretty crazy. 42 years later and that mountain is still still affecting things. Here's that old I-5 bridge. Look at the rust in that thing. We definitely need to uh, do something with that thing. I'm sure it's on the schedule. at all the holes and stuff that were filled in over the years and as they're coming different holes are coming back now they just say well we ain't fixing that it's not <laughs> like it's some heavily traveled public road anymore exactly oh car well I just seen a big old bird fly up there was that? I done lost him. Oh, there it is right there. Did you find him again? Uh, yeah, just a big old raven up there. There's a couple when we were walking around, flying around up there. Woo-wee! This is so nice. Oh, it is. Have you had any worries left in your mind? They done slipped away now. Yep, they done that. The old toodle is snaking through and then making that turn down here. I'll stand you up and let you let you take a look. You like that sandbar thing in the middle. That's always cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be a big truck stop. Yeah, it's supposed to be a big one. so high it flattened everything out out there. Well that had to have been crazy. sketchy for some of these people. Some of these houses yeah. are low. 
out here on my ATV. Mm-hmm. Like you're looking behind him like he's waiting. So <laughs> be like, careful. He was expecting something to come rushing on top of him there, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was getting quite old though, Mama. That's that's going back a bunch of years. Yeah. It ain't fair that dogs don't live longer than they do. I know it. I have this very peaceful melancholy going. You do? Yeah. You got a full ASMR happening on you, huh? Yes. Yeah. Our first dating feelings, and I don't know. Very cool. <laughs> Motorcycles that do that to you. Oh man, almost brings tears to your eyes. Takes you to some very peaceful places. Yeah. It's funny you can think about things like like no other place than when you're just peacefully riding down the road on a motorcycle. Yeah. Especially not in traffic, you know. If you're commuting, that's one thing. But just going yeah. out here in the nature, and just you and your iron steed, and just your mind goes free. It's really cool. So nice. You never done it? You need to do it. Um, kind of hard to explain that kind of thing to people if they haven't yeah. ever done it. Yeah, if you've never felt it, you can't explain a feeling. It's yeah. not a physical it's not a physical thing to explain. did that earlier I'd yank all over the place and get right up on us and take a leaf laying here yeah just had a weird shape to it I thought a big rock fell out of a yeah, gravel that's truck that's what I thought you know? that was here on the Himalayan and he was out there. Oh, Mama and her oh. little one. 
Look at that. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. <laughs> Trying to go quiet. <laughs> Fresh air, that little cold. Yeah. No, it's springtime when you're seeing the babies. Oh man. Well, Mama. It's a hubba. I think since we're right here next to Dr. Pierce's barn, we should probably use that as our exit point. What you reckon? I think so. It's a good stop. It says to do a cloud covers the sun. Of course. Well, again, like our rides would go here. I hope, uh, hope you're awake. <laughs> and if you are awake, or if you went to sleep, I hope you did it in the most peaceful way ever. Yes. We should start calling our rides therapy sessions. I know it. Wind they therapy. Were just sunshine and wind. <laughs> magical, absolutely magical. Yeah, it is. So Kelly always watches her field. She goes, "See, look, pouring down rain. Everything's flooding. There's no water in my field." I know that is prime property, and it I've, needs to be mined so bad. She says, "I've done the proper winter inspection. There will be <laughs> there will be no floating houses, floating yards, or anything like that. Or driveways, nothing. It'd be perfect." Yeah, buddy. Let's bounce out. All right, we'll sounds talk, good. We'll talk to you folks here in well, a few minutes, anyways. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming along for the rip on old Flirty and Roadie Roadkey. Yes. Well, hello there, you two. How about this? Sunset is at 6:03 here in Toledo. Very nice. The clocks change next Sunday. It's going to be nice on the 13th. Get up in the morning. The daylight will be an hour later. It's just a mind <laughs> trick with the I clock, but still. Makes us feel better. Oh, yeah. The other day, um, uh, sunset was at like 5.59. No, it was it was 6. So it was day before yesterday, whenever I was talking about that. And sunset was at, or sunrise was at 5.59. It literally, it was a split, split day. Yeah. 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of dark. That was cool. But anyway, incredible, relaxing ride. She's just that been going on and on so and on. Much fun. That was a really nice ride. Yeah. I love it. She had a full fledged ASMR moment there. Oh. What's well, funny, she started talking about that, and I just started smelling like people burning brush and stuff like these campfire kind of smells. And she just slipped me right into that thing. I just let the camera roll there for a little bit. I, I hope that comes out good. That was, that was very nice. fun, very relaxing. Man, what is it about out in the country and your old hog, oh, man? I it's don't just know. something that special. Was just wonderful. Woo. But anyway, on that, we talked to you the whole time, so we're going to let you roll. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Oh. Real close to the goodbyes out, out in the daylight. Yep. I love it. Oh, All right. We'll let you go with that. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.